What's up everybody, Beefcake here, coming to you from the shop. Basically want to show you what next we got going on on this uh, 99 Cobra of ours. So as you guys seen in the old videos and uh, anybody that's followed the car, they had these Corbo seats in the car for about 25 years. They've obviously seen better days since they've been in the car for 25 years. You know, the guys Corbo were great, sent those to us years ago. But, um, you know, we wanted to do something different with this car, just uh, put a different seat in, you know, get something fresher in there. Since we got the new rear seat delete, we got the new stereo, we got the new steering wheel. So this is what we've cooked up. You're gonna to have to excuse the mess. We've been moving a lot of stuff around. We got the new RV to pull the car, so the shop's a little messy, apologize. But here's what we got. Our friends over at Pro Car by Scat sent us a set of uh, their new seats. These are the ones we're going to be putting in the car. These are pretty sharp. They've got a carbon fiber look to them. They're not all cloth, though. You know, the other seats, they tend to get a little dirtier being all cloth. These have a, a nice outer shell and a bottom piece. It actually has a place for the fifth uh, belt as well. So we're going to be upgrading our harnesses uh, to a cam lock harness. As you've seen the old harnesses in there, man, those are like antique. So we're going to get those harnesses out of there. We're going to get a five-point harness instead of the four-point harness. We're going to get those in. These things also have a pretty trick uh, carbon fiber back to them. Uh, so it's a pretty badass looking seat. So these are ones that we offer. We offer all the uh, Pro Car by Scat on the website. If you don't see it on the website, just give us a call. But we're going to take you through the install on these seats now. All right, guys. So you can see the remnants. You got Lord knows how long all this dirt stuff's been in here from all these years and everything like that down in here. Looks like we had the old harness. I'm going to get some new harnesses ordered for this as well. Um, even though we don't have to have them. Since we've got the seats, we might as well put the harness in. But these bolts were a PETA to get out after being here for like 24 years. We did get them out. We're going to get some fresh hardware. Now, the nice thing is the old Corbos that we had in here literally had the same seat brackets in there um, from whenever. Looks like back in the day, we must have drilled these uh, to make the Corbo seats fit. But the new seats, they actually bolt to the brackets here. These sliders are a little bit different. And so they will actually bolt underneath the sliders. So we've got the hardware to bolt the uh, new pro car seats to these. And then we've got the new brackets, which again, look like the exact same bracket. The difference is we don't need to drill them because they will bolt at the backside there. So it should be a perfect fitment. We are going to get some fresh hardware to put in tomorrow when we come in on these, but uh, so far uh, so good. Just a lot of rusty bolts to get out, you know, 25 years and, uh, coming together though. Now we get a look at the old seats with the new seats side by side. Again, the Corbos, they treated us good back in the day and you know, but they're old. This style's discontinued, dirty, just been in there for a while. Again, the guys at Pro Car sent us these, uh, you know, new, newer version that they offer. Got the carbon fiber backs on them, look pretty cool. So I think they're gonna look real nice. We'll uh, get them bolted in. All right, so we've got our bracket all buttoned up. The funny thing is, again, these brackets, exact same brackets, even though 25 year difference. Now, our friends of Vortec and SCAT, they were actually back ordered on the passenger side, but since it's the same bracket, we just reused it. Uh, the only difference, as you can see, 25 years ago, we'd actually drilled into the brackets when we mounted uh, seats that we had got from Corbeau. Uh, but now we've got the actual sliders that are made for these seats. We're gonna get these, uh, just bolt them right in. Nice thing, these seats too, they have a spot for the uh, fifth harness which is real nice. So on the other one, it was just uh, wrapping around the front, but now we're going to be able to feed it up through the middle and it'll uh, tuck in a little bit nicer and look a little nicer. So one of the other cool things you find is CDs under the seat that have probably been there for 25 years along with all the other, looks like mouse turds and stuff like that. All right, so here we go on the belts. So if you look at these things, these things are uh, September of 2000. Um, so they're pretty, pretty old. I'll zoom in here a little bit, but you see the September and the 2000. So the belts are way out of spec and they had these big giant contra contraptions that you had to lock in all these different pieces years ago. I mean, talk about a PETA. So we got the new cam lock style. This we run and everything is a race whip. We sell these really nice. They just pop in and then you just turn to the side and you got a quick release. So we're going to put these updated race quips in. These are good till June of 2027 and we'll have an SFI legal harness. What you get on a five point harness. So you get the main cam lock, 
that's going to go on the uh, right side. Then you got the left side, you've got the crotch strap, and then you got the two bigger harnesses that'll wrap around the bar and through the seats. So we can get these all put in there. Now on these harnesses, they're pretty simple. They're going to run back and you basically just run it up and through once. And then you actually drop it down underneath here. You're going to loop that over and then just right back through and then tighten it down. Then we'll put it back a third time. Once you tighten it up, it'll tighten up. We'll actually tighten the bracket up down on it. We're just getting everything kind of pre-set up. Obviously, you see we got a lot of extra, so we're going to cut that off. And what we typically do, we'll actually burn the ends so it doesn't fray. We'll just take a little lighter to it, burn the end so it doesn't uh, fray too much. As we go along, we just use a 50 Torx bit. So we're taking this old again, other pieces of the old harness. We're just popping those out and we're popping the uh, new pieces back in. You can see that we got the crotch strap in. The back belts are set up in there. Pretty easy to do those. We're just going to keep putting them all in. And again, like we said, we're just reusing the hardware except or the brackets. All the holes are in the same place, but the nice thing is we got some fresh hardware. Uh, so the seats are bolting in uh, super, super easy. All right, guys, so the pro car seats are in on both sides. Everything fits really, really nice. The brackets kind of cut down in the corner, and I don't know why if 25 years ago, if you saw earlier how we drilled the holes instead, it could have been because the brackets uh, dug into the sides, like down here a little bit. <clears throat> they dug in a little bit, but we actually just took a cutting wheel because the seat sat a little bit too. It was about one inch taller. Didn't really leave any room with the helmet. So we just uh, used a little zip wheel, took about five minutes, cut the brackets down and just used the uh, highest hole, which drops them down. They look real good. So we've got some race quit belts in here again, good for uh, another three years, basically. Uh, much more modern and updated with that cam lock system I was telling you about. I just, I love this cam lock system. You just flip this little lock uh, right on the side and it uh, or on the bottom and it just pops all these right off so you can flip it either way too so it looks real nice again hit us up for all your seating needs uh pro car uh any other other brands but we really like these pro car seats got the carbon fiber backs on them next up what we're going to do uh my local guy at rogue race cars just so we're not hitting here we're going to have him cut these tabs off and we're going to lower the mounting point for the cage to take straight down to the side. That way it fits into this recessed part. We'll build it over just a little bit out of the way. And that way we don't hit and tear up this uh, beautiful carbon fiber on the seats. So we're gonna get a lower mounting point here, come out and then down, just make sure it's all uh, NHRA legal. Rob's real good at that. And we'll use the, uh, we use the existing mount down there still, but we'll get a whole new bar up here, clean this up. Probably use like a little pin for a release, a nice, uh, one of the nice, more modern latching systems. So the interior, man, it's starting to look really, really good. Got the steering wheel. We got the rear seat delete. We got the seats. We got the belt. So it's looking fresh and uh, coming along. Again, stay tuned for us and uh, everything we got going on with this car. And then the next cool thing that we're going to be doing for you to show you is the forge line wheels. I know a lot of you guys followed the wheels on uh, uh, legit street cars. We sent them to the guys at Forge Line. They've had them for a couple months, getting them ready for us. And uh, they said they turned out amazing. They don't even make the wheels anymore. It was the uh, first style that they ever made. So we're super excited to get those. We'll probably have those uh, Saturday or Monday. And of course, I'll make a nice video on those.